Hey, thanks for tuning in to Twang and Bang. Clocks have quite the reputation. Most of it for good things, some of it for bad things. I think most people would put the stock polymer sights in the bad column. They've got this weird outline on the rear notch, and for many people, myself included, the dot on the front sight is too low. It gets obscured when you get proper side alignment. So it's not surprising that most people choose to swap out the stock sights pretty much as soon as they get a new Glock. I don't rush into anything, so it took me a full year of having my Gen 4 G17 before I went ahead and decided to pick some new sights for it. I went with the Ameriglo Pro iDot sights. They're great steel sights with a number of really cool features, but most of all, they have this interesting two-dot side alignment that I want to talk about. And that's what's coming up next on Twang and Bang. Many newer sites are going with a very large marking on the front sight to aid with rapid sight acquisition, and the Ameriglo Pro Eye Dots are a perfect example of this. The front sight has a large tritium vial surrounded by an even larger fluorescent ring. And that ring is not a plastic insert, it's actually machined into the steel of the sight and then painted with a very durable paint. The tritium comes in green only, however you do have your choice between an orange ring and a green ring. The rear sight is beveled on the sides but has a very square notch in the middle. It only has one tritium vial, which is what makes it the eye dot. The tritium vial is very small and is not surrounded by any painted ring. It's available in both green and yellow tritium. The tritium vials are manufactured and installed by Trijicon, which is the world leader in tritium night sights. The sight is very square in the front and undercut in the rear to help reduce the chance of glare. The rear sight is profiled to give you a good sight picture to reduce snagging, but to also give you a flat front edge to make it easier to use your belt to rack the slide with one hand. To understand the logic behind the eye dot, you have to understand one of the real world problems of three dot sights. Many of the original three dot sights were specifically designed so that the front dot appeared to be the same size as the two rear dots. So you had three equal size dots that you would line up. The problem with this is at night, with glowing sights, it can become difficult to know whether you have the sights aligned properly or very improperly when under stress. With two vertically aligned dots, it's impossible to get them mixed up because if you get the rear dot on top, you obscure the front dot. That's the idea behind the eye dot. This is an imperfect solution because with three dots, you can align your sights vertically and horizontally. But with two vertical dots, you only get a good sense of sight alignment horizontally. Vertically, you're left to your memory of what your sight picture looks like just with the glowing vials. A lot of the newer three dot sights compensate for this by having different colored rear inserts and noticeably smaller rear inserts, making it much more obvious when you get them mixed up. The Pro Eye Dots are also available with a different colored rear dot for much the same reason. And that's the option I went with. You can see the large green front sight over the smaller yellow rear sight in this photo I took in the dark. The fuzziness is just an effect of taking a picture in the dark. To the naked eye, the dots are very crisp, and the difference in size between the front and rear sight is even more apparent. And this photo shows why I went with the two color setup. All I have to look for is a big green dot, and when I see a little yellow dot, I know that's the rear sight. But if they were both green, then I'd have to start to think, well, which one is bigger than the other in order to find the front sight? Here's a pretty realistic situation. I'm standing in an unlit closet, aiming out of the closet at something dark, which would be like a person wearing dark clothing. Standard sights would be really hard to pick up right now, but I can pick up the Ameriglows just fine. The conventional sight profile also works really well in a dark location aiming onto something light. Say the bad guy was wearing a white t-shirt. Another tricky situation for sights is when you have strong lighting behind you and you're aiming at something dark. But you can see here that the pro eye dots work very well in this situation. It's very easy to pick out both the front and rear sights because of the dots. Though you can buy suppressor sights that are actually tall enough for you to get a good sight picture over a suppressor, I didn't want to put those on this Glock because it's not a dedicated suppressor host. But the big orange dot on that front sight make these a really good substitute for dedicated suppressor sights. 
It makes good side alignment very easy in spite of the fact that you have a black booster that otherwise gives you really poor contrast for black iron sights. Though this means that your suppressor is still going to cover up the bullseye of the target you're shooting at, you'll get pretty good at knowing where you need to aim nonetheless. As you can see by this target, I didn't do so bad and I was still practicing good side alignment and trigger control. So is a two dot system better than a three dot system? Who knows? I think it really comes down to what do you want to be looking at when you pull the trigger? For me, precision shooting is about aligning the outline of the sights. I'm not really paying attention to what's printed on them. But for other people, they're used to aligning the three dots for precision shooting. For fast shooting, all I care about is finding that front sight. And so that's why I think the Pro Eye Dot is a really good match for my knees because I've got that very highly visible dot on the front sight and an uncluttered rear sight with that little bit of tritium to give me that added comfort in a low light situation where I might be searching to find that rear sight. But if you want a sight that's very much like the Ameriglos, that's a three dot system, that's the Trigicon HDs and they have an amazing reputation as well. If you want to learn more about the Ameriglow Pro Eye Dots and the different pistols they're available for, be sure to click the link in the video description below. If you like this video, please take the time to log into YouTube and click the like button. Now more than ever, YouTube needs to know that you like firearms oriented programming. Be sure to click up here to subscribe so you can catch my next videos on bows, guns, and other cool stuff. I really appreciate you watching Twang and Bang, and I hope to see you next time.